All right, here we go. <coughs> so it's going to be a hunter versus a paladin. I have to see if we can spectate his cards. Yep. So it looks like, wow, it could be a, some kind of mid-range but semi-aggressive paladin with the low tap versus a hunter which looks like a face hunter. I think that's a good uh, matchup for uh, Benjo Malta. And let's see how these gentlemen are going to go. Both players have quite a nice hand. Well met. Benjamin Malta here going for the Silver Hand Regent instead of the Cockhammer. Ooh, wow. Not the best turn there for Nibor. He's floating one mana in a rush deck. That's never a good sign. The last thing he wanted to see was uh, more and more Silverhand recruits with the Silverhand vision. So he felt like he needed to sign it. Also not a target he wants to shoot the knife juggler at. Now let's see what Benjo Motor is going to do here. He's got multiple options. <laughs> I think uh, it would be nice to kill the haunted creeper here and then play concentration to clear the board. That would be an option, but maybe he wants to play the Murloc Knight. It's also a disaster card there for the face hunter. Let me think. I must move quickly. Yep, he's going for the Metal Knight. <coughs> With the hand of Nibbo, we see um, the Eagle Horn Longbow. Eagle Horn Bow. But how can he get rid of this 3 4 Metal Knight? That's a problem for him. Meanwhile, here at the first floor in Spelletjes Café de Twee Klaver, a lot of enthusiastic players. And always in the first round, Let in the beginning, it's getting think. quiet in this bar. <laughs> What to do here for Banjo Malta? Mm. <laughs> well, if he decided in the previous turn to play the Murder Knight, it would be logic to use his hero against you right now. The disadvantage he has is that's the only thing he can do. The freezing trap here. Okay. Job done. I see. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Ouch. 
That's a nice pickup. He could kill uh, both your opponents. But I think I would go for um, for Servant's Recruit and the Defender of Arcus because he's only at 9 health. I wonder. It's going to be hard. Benjamin Mantle does not know about uh, Lisa Hans, of course. My seal for Argus. Oh, this Niba has lethal right here. Let's see, you need 17 point of damage. He's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, it's too off lethal. I love the way he uh, keeps the divine shield on the Argent Horse Rider. So, Banjo Malta needs to make a move to play the concentration. Still, this could be quite a close game. Aye, 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 aye. No, it's not. At least the hounds will do the job here. He has lethal and he will take the first game. Well played. Well played, he says. Yes. <laughs> Petty for Banjo Malta. Nibble takes the first game. And those guys will go into the second game. Waiting for the next games, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome Masterbite to Messi Coast. Enjoy the stream. <coughs> 54 players to be exact. Are participating in this tournament. And in the first round, we already have the first matches won. Reuter won 2 to 0 versus Gaiu. And Tricep Survey won 2 to 0 versus Laugev AMC. Bachan won 2 to 0 to Snuka. Like GVR has won versus. Uh, it was 
playing versus Sippy Mars. GVR finished in second place in his first fireside. No, first place in his first fireside, and in second side, fireside he won with uh, in game second. So, very tough player here. Two attempts, one championship, and one second place. So here we go. Go to the second match. Warrior vs. Paladin. Benjo Malta chooses to try out his Paladin once more. And Nibo has to choose his Warrior. Well, in most cases, the Warrior is behind here because of the hero power of the Paladin. Not a bad hand here for uh, Mr. Banjo. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I can't watch Nibo's hand. It looks like um, well, he could play Patron Warrior because he did not choose to attack. But there's also another reason. Maybe he will not attack because he wants to get more benefit of the death rattle of the zombie show. And wants to have um, a better spot. Benjamin Motor here. Going to use most for battle. <coughs> wow, that well went. Looks like he plays the pace warrior. And then suddenly he's in an advantage. But we don't know what he's holding in his hands. It's quite brave from Neighbor, but he still tries to play the Page Warrior. Because this tournament is post war on Commander Nerf. Oh my godness, no. I was wrong. He's playing the one turn kill, I guess. And that's a really cool deck. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while since I saw this deck. That's what it is. 12 damage for you. This is a really interesting play, by the way. Because he could choose to use his uh, Cruel Taskmaster to do 16 points of damage to his opponent, but instead he kills the Blooded Shredder. Maybe he was hoping for um, a one power minion to drop out, because now 
Well, the bad news is the concentration. And he loses both. And actually, from the Warriors perspective, it's going to be hard to win the game right now because he's playing a combo deck and he only has two cards in his hand and that's never a good sign. Shield luck. Oh, brother. Things are getting worse. <laughs> He already used an execute. Well went. Okay, he's throwing a lot of cards to kill a minion. And now the bad news is coming for the warrior. It's very easy to um, regain a board with the Murloc Knight. Probably it's going to be Dr. Boom time. I can't see a way why not to play it. <laughs> Maybe he's scared of death threat of the dead spikes, but I don't think so. It's a good hand right now. A big board. Wow, he still plays the game patron. That's really cool. Yeah. So he combines it with a classic deck of the Wagon infantry of uh, the Wagon card. I have not seen this combination before. Oh, master fool! <laughs> that was great for Benjamin Malta. The perfect boom bots right there, and now we can get rid of everything with concentration. That was a big moment in this game. Knee bot there, really bad luck. <laughs> Yeah, well, everything looks quite clean now to Benjo Malta. I'm not a defender of Arcus. He's gonna love that. I don't think there are any hazards here left for Manjo Morton. Yeah, he wants to be absolutely sure not to get drawn out or get it burst down. That's why he trades the to boot. And there you have it. It's one to one in the first round. So this will be the last game in the first round. And let's see who's getting those three points in this Swiss tournament. Really nice to see that deck of, um, of his opponent. And I really hope I could watch him now. But we will see.
And here back in the chat, Benjamin is having some fans for Maltar. Welcome Mr. Doritos, welcome to the Amsterdam Fireside. Please feel free next time to join. You can wave to the camera to the people at home if you want. You can wave to the camera to the people at home. Hello. <laughs> it's one to one. Uh, yeah, Benjamin Malta take uh, um, yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay, they are preparing to battle each other. And here we are. Warrior versus warrior, and Benjamin is playing the control one. So it's going to be the patient versus control. Well, I'm excited to see how this is going to end. Let's see how he's going to Mulligan, only holding a few war axe. That's a good decision. I believe the sludge belches are also quite nice. Well, Nibai has the time in this matchup to set up a combo. There comes the Worgen again. Malto having some uh, fans at home, I see. More people are supporting him. Well, he needs your support back at home because it's one to one. And in a tournament, it's never a good sign to lose the first round. It's not good for your spirit. I like the fact he holds the shield block right here so he can combine it with the shield slam. And we will not have the risk to. Uh, Lose armor during the game. Well, what is next? Well, he's got a lot of decisions here. You could clear the board or you could drop down another belcher. I think he has to go here for card advantage. The question is how to, uh, to do that. Also could use Advisor Versa to play the slam on the Gnomes Infanta and draw a card. And then throw his weapon into the loot holders. So he would gain an extra card there. I'm 
Many options here for um, the bench. I would go for Sludge Belcher, Lambor. Yep. And he's making the right play, in my opinion. Wow, he's going for the execute instead of using his weapon, that surprises me. That was why he did it. Oh my god. Benjamin are getting massive damage. Why does it miss the few words? What tactic could be behind that play? Can't think of any. There's also no card to control where you can drop. You can be killed with the fear wide, so you had an opportunity to do to do more damage. Major player on the other hand playing very careful there, using uh, his Woven instead of his Execute. Oh nice, another dead fight. Well, things are looking quite sunny for Banjo Motor. Getting so much armor. 19 armor. Oh, wow. Adding some patrons to the board. From the other hand, a brawl is lurking in the dark. And not well at all. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Well played. Soon we will see the bad news. For the people at home who are asking to see uh, if the camera could be placed on players, no it's not possible, they're playing in the basement. And I'm sitting on the first floor, so... Look at that! Claim the board, take it easy. A bouncing blade. Wow, that's some nice. Uh, that's a nice deck card. 
but of course it's not so nice for this uh, this deck. So it's going to be pretty useless. But I still like um, the plays it. Because actually if your opponent has one main it always kills him. Yep, never concedes, bench player goes through. Well, well played.